Hi guys, uh, just going to do a uh, an update on my uh, CNC um, yeast um, 3040T. Um, I'm just going to do some upgrades to it, so I'll quickly have a look. So I'll do this quickly because Facebook doesn't like the big files. Um, I'm going to do a um, an upgrade on the motherboard and also install uh, um, limited switches. Yeah, what we're going to do, we uh, at the moment I've got the CNC sitting in uh, zero position, front left end. Um, we'll come down here, we'll have a look at what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to put a switch directly underneath here. Uh, if we have a look closely, and but we're actually going to go right in the middle underneath, and we'll touch the uh, main frame with there. And now if we come back up here, um, now what we're going to do, we're going to put a switch either here, go closer, or underneath. I'll just put that to the side. And we'll get a uh, kind of like a, an aluminium uh, L shape. And we'll um, put it up here. Like so, we'll drill a couple of holes and um, cut it to size and round the edges off a little bit, clean it up, and we'll give it a bit of a touch up with some paint. Uh, yeah, so we'll drill a couple of holes and we'll uh, make some threads. Um, now, for me, Z, that's going to be a little bit tricky because I don't have much room. Um, if you have a look down the side, not much room there. And on the other side, not much room. Now the trickiest part is that I was probably thinking, you know, if I put it on the high end, put a couple of washers underneath. So when I lift my Z up, trigger, and then run the wires across, down, Across the back through the uh, chain and then down underneath and then down through the back directly underneath <clears throat> so I could probably have one switch on the Z but on the high end but maybe not on the low end because there's not much room now my little spacer for my uh, spindle mount I probably could cut that off give it a trim clean it all up and maybe have a little, a little space around the knee or something if you can touch the switch or something but anyhow because we're going to uh, do an update on the motherboard which is here and we're also going to install um, where are we? touch plate tool change so I can probably get away just using the one switch but if we have a look, I'll just take this off, slide that up, now have a look, I'm using a, uh, what have I got in there, I've got a uh, quarter inch, probably a six mil, um, single, single flirt cutter, I'm pretty close to zero, zero position at the moment, and I'm almost at my full length down, now if I change my cutter and go to a quarter, or an eighth, I should say an eighth cutter and maybe a V groove. Then, if I can just uh, loosen my nuts off and allow me uh, spindle if I need to, or raise it one or the other. But I'm going to have a uh, tool change in it once it touches that, and then I, I can automatically work out my distance from the high end. Uh, yeah, because I've noticed that there's been a lot of changes that are happening to Mark III, so I'm going to change that completely and not use that anymore. So I'll just move all this out of the road. Um, but yes. Um, so I'm just going to use the uh, one switch on the uh, X, Y, and Z. The only problem is, though, I've ordered everything and I realised that I don't have enough wire. That's the only 
only wire that I've got. Um, so I've got to wait for my uh, wire to come through. <clears throat> so it'll come up nice and clean, but um, but before I actually do that, I'll quickly uh, post a video on YouTube on uh, ports and pins. Uh, this model does not come out with with uh, the correct settings, so I'll quickly post that up. But I'm going to quickly turn this on. And uh, I'm just going to move the machine to uh, close to center of position before I actually do anything. Um, Mark 3, yes, I, I am Mark 3. I don't know, Windows 10 64 bit. But I've noticed that mine is actually changing quite a lot on Mark 3. So I'm going to quickly open this file. And I'm uh, just going to bring up Mark 3. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, for, un for some reason, it's always been changing around. I'm actually in zero position. Um, get offsets, current work offset, zero. Uh, machine coordinates are zero. Uh, go back to running program. Machine coordinates are on zero. Diagnostics, they're all on zero. Current position and machine coordinates, they're all on zero position. For unknown reason, I could not change them the other day. Um, I'm just going to go down to homing offsets and I'm going to change this and I'm just going to zero out on this. Go on the configuration, save settings. It's going to quickly reopen it again. Actually, yeah, I'm going to leave it where it is. I'm going to change my Z though. It's going to change it a little bit. Go to 55. Minus 55, sorry. Save. I'm just manually going to move the machine by the um, arrow keys. Um, page up. It's going to look me Z. Um, and then I'm just going to go X Y. I'm just manually using my uh, keyboard, arrow keys. Now this becomes very interesting now. I'm just going to get offline. Um, I'm actually going to turn the machine off in a minute. I'm just going to reference all home. Surprisingly that it has worked. And the same coordinates, and you're on zero. Diagnostics. Well, that's funny, that's, that's really a funny, funny, funny. Interesting. The other day, I wouldn't do that. Hmm. But anyhow, I'm going to change the, uh, the motherboard over and go to a more advanced. Thanks to you, Dave. You've been uh, such a great help. And um, 
I'll post a video up as soon as, uh, as soon as I'm up and running. But I'm actually surprised to see that that is actually working. The way that it should be. I do not know if that's a uh, Windows update making changes. But, um, yeah, funny. Um, interesting. So, yeah, so we'll, um, if we have a look on the neat we'll, um, actually have the switch underneath and on the inside, and we'll have a look. And we'll touch the row on the inside and Nice clean tidy, you don't see the switch and you won't get any dirt or anything on the switches. And we'll also have the switch up the top here. Now, if I can, while well, I've got, got it up, you might be able to have the switch there, but nice. Now that looks nice. Alright, thanks for that and I'll get back to you.